The Seattle Seahawks hit the road for another TNF game looking for some answers. Finding them in Dallas, though, won't be easy. There's Dak. Down the middle. He's got Cooks for the touchdown. Oh, it's Turpin. My goodness, Turpin gets the deep ball this time. There's going to be a lot of mismatch material in this preview. You have been forewarned. I am neither a Seattle hater or a Dallas lover, though. But you have the Cowboys coming in on a three-game win streak, having won five of their last six. Able to hit the pass out to the 40-yard line to Jake Ferguson. That's a dime. Facing a Seattle squad that lost their last two, defeats in three of their last four now. Oh, that sees a pick up. On the sideline, it is ruled an interception. Cowboys defense facing a Hawks offense coming in with seriously clipped wings. 16 or fewer points scored in their three most recent losses. Dallas not taking on a high-flying Geno Smith either. Zero touchdowns, a pick, a 70 rating last week. A little grab of the arm there mm -hmm. by Ambry Thomas, not seen. Tough call, but hey, that's how it is sometimes. Gino only has three 100 plus rating games this year, has six sub 90 rate games. What we have to do is uh, continue to work hard, if not work harder. Um, there is no excuse for it. Smith's latest dud, and this is where Cowboys fans' ears should perk up, was marked by a lot of bagging. Not on anyone's mamas either. He got dumped behind the line of scrimmage six times by San Francisco. Here they come, Smith, sacked. The pressure gets there. Seattle also saw right tackle Jason Peters leave the game hurt. So good luck with the Micah Parsons-led Cowboys pass rush. They still sport the highest pressure rate in the league. Four sack outing last week. Micah, one and a half. Parsons now with 11 and a half. Has won in at least five of his last six games. Oh my oh. goodness, that is tough. What a double whammy. That's Parsons. Parsons finally able to get to him. Finding a way to keep Geno upright paramount to the Hawks having a chance. Smith has been sacked four plus times in three games this season. He did not play well in any of those games. Spin. Smith is dumped back at the 20 yard line. If Seattle's line can find a way to hold Dallas's rush at bay, they still have the Cowboys secondary to deal with. Still have the house call king to contend with. There it is. This is history. If Bland can take it the distance, this will be the record. Bland for the fifth time has a pick six. It's never happened in the history of the NFL. That's five TDs for cornerback Deron Bland, NFL record. Defense, and you saw how excited Quinn was, the defensive coordinator. Five pick sixes oh my in one season. I mean, we know Deion Sanders. Whatever it is, you put your mind to, you can do it. Stephon Gilmore on the other side, so they are plenty equipped to take on DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, Jackson Smith, and Jigba. Nice one-hander for the Rook last week. Twisting, what a catch! Jackson Smith and Jigba with a five-star grab! Oh my goodness, did you see this catch? Smith and Jigba, 41 yards week 12, 40 plus now in six of his last seven games. Screen, Jackson, Smith and Jigba, looking for the lead, touchdown! His high is 63 yards, so he hasn't blown up yet. No one blew up in their loss to San Francisco, lock at 30 yards, DK did not have his way at all, could not get away from Charvarius Ward, held to 32 yards on three catches, targeted nine times. Take a shot downfield for DK, Metcalf broke it up. By Traverius Ward. Cowboys DBs play versus wide receivers this season, holding wideouts to a 68.9 rate, seven TDs, nine interceptions. DeVito going deep. He's got a man high at his open, but then the seam closes and it's intercepted. Guess who? Deron Bland again. Seattle's defense has more to worry about than just wide receivers when Dallas lets it fly, but the two biggest threats are wideouts. C.D. Lamb, TD last week. Going to the end zone. Touchdown, C.D. Lamb. Brandon Cooks led the team versus Washington with 72 yards, also found the paint. Going for the big ball. Wide open. Touchdown, Brandon Cooks. But the key to Dallas's most recent offensive explosion, diversity. Ten different guys caught passes from Dak. Prescott throwing four touchdowns, 331 yards, a rating over 140. Dowdle gets the screen pass. Dowdle to the end zone for a Dallas touchdown. Seattle facing maybe the hottest QB in the game right now. 17 TD passes, two picks over his last five games. We know what we want to do, you know what I mean? We know how we want to attack. We know how we want to go at these different teams. If the Hawks want to slow him down, they have to be able to heat him up. 
Prescott barely faced any pressure versus Washington, has one of the lowest pressure rates faced in 2023. Credit to the offensive line. I mean, I think that's where that's where it starts, giving me time to take shots down the field. Seattle did not bother Brock Purdy much, only one sack, but they do have one of the higher sack totals for the season, and they did not play San Francisco's aerial attack poorly. They held Purdy to 209 yards, sub-90 rate, and pick six to him. Pocket kick screen, it's a deflection! It's an interception! It's a big play! It's a Jordan Brooks touchdown! Seahawks secondary has held quarterbacks under seven yards per attempt this season. That's good. Under a 90 rating. That's also good. They have been a strength most games. Runs backwards, flips around, sticks his hand out. That young man has played some remarkable football. What the Hawks did not do well last week was play run defense. CMC 114 yards against him, six yards per carry, two touchdowns. McCaffrey comes left, that door is closed, but he finds a way through, and McCaffrey twirls to the end zone for the touchdown! Dallas isn't a run-first team like San Francisco, but they have Tony Pollard coming in off a 79-yard, 6.1-yard per carry, touchdown outing, has 50-plus yards in five straight games. They go Pollard, Pollard dashing, driving, he's in for the touchdown, Tony Pollard! Dallas now 8-1 versus sub-500 teams, 0-2 versus teams above 500, which Seattle still is, so they got that in their corner. That's what it's all about, oh, and you got a damn good team. You did your job. Cowboys have not trailed at home once this season. Will Seattle be the first to do it? Two of the biggest fan bases in the game. Take to the comments section already. Panel of 10. More stars again, I assume.